Good morning, John and Judy. Good morning, professors. It looks like you have collected many claims that we can use as examples. Wonderful. Let us take a look. Let us use this one. Mm -hmm. Good. Are Mr. Mwaka and Miss Nantava here? Good morning, professors. I am Mr. Mwaka. As I told you, John and Jolly, bananas are better for your health than mangoes. The woman who sold me these bananas said so. No, professors. I am Miss Nantaba. Mangoes are better for your health than bananas. The man who sold me these mangoes said so. Mr. Mwaka. Yes? If people believe that bananas are better for your health, do you think that woman will sell more bananas? I think so. Yes? And Miss Nantaba, if people believe mangoes are better for your health, do you think that man will sell more mangoes? Yes. So, if more people believe the man selling bananas, he will make more money. If more people believe the woman selling mangoes, she will make more money. Which could be why they are making those claims. So, what someone selling a treatment says is a bad basis for a claim about the treatment. The person could be making the claim so that they can make more money. Let us end with this one. Oh, yes. Is Miss Namuli here? Here. Good morning, professors. Good morning. This small electric machine makes a sound so mosquitoes go away. It stops you from getting malaria. I am sure because an expert told me. This expert knows a lot about mosquitoes. But Miss Namuli... I have used such a machine and I still got malaria. Really? Miss Namuli, experts can be wrong about treatments. Yes, if an expert's basis for their claim is bad, then the claim is unreliable. But professors, Yes. you are experts too. You know a lot about health. Can your claims be unreliable? Oh yes, they can. It's not who is making the claim that is most important. It is the basis for the claim. For example, an expert's claim is unreliable if the basis for the claim is only How new it is? How long the treatment has been used? How much money it costs? How many people have used it? Or that someone selling the treatment says something about it. But professors, what is a good basis for a claim about a treatment? When are claims reliable? We will start to teach you about this next week. Come visit our office at the university. And remember, when you hear a claim about a treatment, always ask, what is the basis for the claim? And is it a good or a bad basis? Bye-bye, professors. Be more sure. No, I'm not sure.